Question is, the 30 and 9th term of AP are a 4 and 21. Means A3 is equal now to 4. And A9 is equal now to 21. And the question is, determine A1 and C, determine the value of D. But remember, the general term is AN is equal now to A1 plus N minus 1 times D. And therefore, from this concept, for this one, therefore, A3 is equal now to A1, then plus, it is now 3 minus 1 times D. And it is therefore a three. Any means the number of terms. Here we are talking about three terms. And it is therefore from then kutoka hapa sasa tunajua kwamba tuna a three ambao ni four is equal now to a one then plus three minus one that is two d. Now this is the first equation. And the second equation is that uh, we are having a nine. A nine that is uh, 21 is equal now to a1 plus n is 9 minus 1 is equal times d. Now this is 21 is equal now to a1 plus 8d. Go to my equation here up and this is the second equation and the first equation. Now from this one we can find the value of a. Therefore it is therefore this is taken to the other side therefore a1 is equal now to 4 minus 2D. Kwa kutoka hapa, tunapata thamani ya kitu ambayo tunaita kumbe A1 ni 4 minus 2D. Tunakuja sasa tunasubstitute hapa. Kwa tukija hapa tunasubstitute kwa mana ya kwamba sasa kumbe itakuwa ni 21 is equal now A1 is 4 minus 2D. Then plus 80D. This is what I have. Then collect the like terms. That is negative 2 and that is positive 8D. All of these are collected. And Bapu sasa to end up kwa kupata 21 will be equal now to 4. Therefore positive 60D. Now this is taken to the other side. Therefore we are having 60D is equal now 21 minus 4 which is equal now to 17. It is very important kwelewa kwamba kwa yo tunakuwa na 21 minus Therefore, 21 minus that one, we get it is 17. Therefore, we divide it by 6, we divide it by 6. Therefore, our D now is equal now to 17 over 6. This is the value of D. Therefore, D is equal now to 17 over 6. Kwa nimepata D is equal to 17 over 6, baada sasa ya kuwa nimekutumia equation hii hapa na equation hii hapa. Ambao ni kama tu simitini as equation. Lakini, nimetumia hii hapa kufind out the value of this one. Ambao ni substitution method. Ambao hii nimekuja kuisubstitute hapa sasa. Nikapata ambao ni D. Ambao ni hii hapa. Baada ya kuwa nimepata the value of D. What next and what I have to do is to find out the value of A1. Ambapo sasa naeza nikachagua equation ambayo A is ni hii hapa. Ambayo tunaweza nikasema A1 is equal now to 4 minus 2D. Lakini kumbuka D ambayo itakuwa ni 4 minus 2 times D ambayo ni 17 over 6. Mathematically hapi nakuwa simplified. Ambayo sitakuwa ni 4 over 1 minus 17 over 3. Ambapo LCM sasa itakuwa ni 3. Then this is 12 minus 17. Ambayo sitakuwa ni negative 5 over 3. Therefore, kumbe, A1 na enye itakuwa negative 5 over 3, alafu D ambayo ni 17 over 6. Kwa unapata picha ya maswali kwa namna hii kwa sababu, haya maswali unapoku unaangalia, unatumia kanuni ambayo ni hii hapa. Hii hapa ni kanuni peke ambayo, N term is equal to A1 plus N minus 1 times D. Hii D ni common difference. Ambayo hii hapa D sasa ni common difference. Alaf hii hapa N number of terms. Alaf A1 ni first term. Alaf A, this is the general term. Ambayo sasa unatumia. Kwa 4, A3, that is the third term is equal to 4. Now where there is a n you put 4 and therefore it is a 1 plus 2 that is 3 minus 1 ambao ni mepata ngapi? Ambao ni mepata hii hapa. Lakini nyingine kwa kisipanga hivo kisha unakuju na tafuta tu kama kawaida ambavo tumeona. That's how we can solve that equation.